Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. A uh, quick one today on uh, rebuilding roughness in on PhotoScan. So this is a scan that I took using an A6400 uh, Sony camera. Um, and I got a, about 64 photos that I took from two angles. I did use a turntable and a cross-polarization setup to remove reflections. And now I want to get some of those reflections back in. So um, if you if we go up and look at these brown spots, they're a little bit uh, out of focus, blurry. Could be my camera, could be a variety of other things. And just quickly, um, I do want to um, show you that I used my NGOM Pro version 1.2 available on Gumroad, ArtStation and Blender Market and I use the Easy Remesh panel to uh, remesh this so if we look at it, it adds these modifier well we've remeshed from a high poly uh, and then we've ended up with uh, quite a low poly um, and we've uh, kept our um, surface normals as well for our low poly so that's just a quick one there uh back in substance um painter so i really want to just go through like my method now this is going to vary for every um uh workflow so what i've done i've made my maps and i've done these in uh marmoset because i prefer that for making my maps so i've made the ambient occlusion the curvature the height the normal object normal position thickness and vertex color data okay and then i've used my vertex color data just by inverting and playing with the levels in photoshop uh, to make a base roughness map now what i want to emphasize here is that when i'm thinking about this i'm not necessarily and it, this goes for when i'm thinking about lighting and and uh texturing as well I'm not thinking about ground truth reality. I do not necessarily want an identical uh, roughness map uh, or, or, or texture uh, to what the pair actually had because that might, I want a little bit more fantastical, um, maybe hyper realism. And the reason for that is it just looks better, you know? So. If I was doing everything ground truth, um, you know, there might be use cases for that, but my interest is like video games and, and artistic shots. So these are the kind of things that even a photographer might want to uh, make some edits to make their, their photo look uh, more dynamic or, or whatever. So when I'm doing this uh, rebuild of specularity or rebuild of roughness, uh, I really am focusing on getting it looking cool. So... There will be some things which I will point out. So basically, to start with, this pair, the roughness between these brown spots and the green spots was nothing, and there was no difference in height for them either. So first of all, we've got this, this base here with uh, the base color and the roughness just set to a, a standard color. And then the next layout, I use my base roughness map. So we turn that on, okay? And what you'll see here is that um, I've, I've added this uh, roughness map in here. So it's a little bit shinier on the pair. It's very subtle and you might not notice much of it. But once we add the levels in, you start to notice. Now, if you look at my levels, those are the settings there. You can play around with them and get a little bit more shine. But it's more roughness around the uh, brown dots, which, like I said, was not ground truth for the pair itself. But I feel it adds a little bit of, I don't know, like, like I said, hyper-realism. And as we go up, I've added a uh, slope blur, okay, just to give a little bit of chaos to that roughness, okay? So if we go into our roughness settings, I actually believe that might be a little bit high. So if we bring that up to 100 and just turn the intensity down, it just adds a little bit of chaos to that uh, roughness there. So... Back in our material, um, as you can see, we're starting to get some, and it might not all show up on the YouTube, uh, you know, uh, compression algorithm, but we're starting to get a little bit of uh, 
difference between the skin and the uh the brown spots which is cool now if we go to our next fill layer i've actually with a triplanar projection used a uh, fingerprint smeared from the default um uh uh, substance library so if we go to our roughness map and we turn that one on and off you'll see that I've just added a little bit and then added some levels to that so it's just a little bit of extra chaos so if we mess with our levels you can add more or less basically there and um, what you do need to do is on this fill layer you need to go down to blending options and apply opacity to all channels on this layer here I've just added a you're not even going to be able to notice it on screen, but a very, very uh, soft dust filter. Uh, doesn't really matter. Probably didn't even need that. Um, now, moving up on this fill layer, I've used the uh, pair normal and the pair rough base on a height channel. Okay. And if we go over here, moving on to this uh, channel, like I said, I've got the here rough base uh that i made in photoshop and the height channel and just the the normal normal map that i got from uh before so if we go here these are our maps okay and i've just added that to this and whoa chaos because this roughness uh map here is um basically making all of these dimples and things like that so uh, I actually want those to go in, so I've then inverted it, okay, and then I have added a uh, levels to the height channel, okay, so what you can now see is I'm starting to get some inverted dimples, if we bring that up it's going to be more, so we want less, and we're just getting little highlights around these edges, okay, which is what I want, uh, and that is like i said not ground truth reality but in a game engine or something like that it's going to start looking really cool so you can already see that this is like a really high high res looking hd uh pair but honestly that's a bit much so we just add a little bit of a blur to it and then uh another bit of a sharpen to it so um that's that and then I think we just added a little bit more of uh, chaos to the uh, roughness map. And as you can see, let's turn them all off. We started with this. Okay, level of detail. And layer by layer, we just added more and more craziness so i think that looks really cool i think it looks like a real pair and that's about it thanks for watching uh thanks to all the subscribers that just keep subscribing and hopefully a little bit more content uh coming this way i've just been getting over a bad flu and also had some very painful surgery so i've been uh not very motivated to uh do much uh the last couple of weeks so yeah there you go there you have it um that's how i rebuild um or recreate in my imagination what i think uh the roughness and specularity should look like and it looks a lot better than our base um so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content see you later